Hello and welcome back everybody, J-Man here continuing my blind playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hope you're all doing well out there. Um, so we are picking up where we left off yesterday. Uh, we had uh, started the quest with Sir Hans Capon um, and we're now in Ledechko looking for um, this dice player that won a necklace off of him because he wants to give that necklace to his new flame. Uh, he's fallen in love with some gal and uh, he wants us to go retrieve this necklace that he lost playing dice for him. So that's what we're going to do. So let's dive back in. Cyber, what's going on, man? Uh, gotcha. You must be in the Netherlands or somewhere in... Uh, I just, I say that because um, John B. was talking about how new restrictions were going in, I think, tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Poor or rich, old or young. Well, that's a bummer. Hopefully, uh, it'll turn around for you. All right, so we need to go find this dice player. Looks like we got some people over there playing dice, maybe. So, a Desco player. I'm assuming it's this guy. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Hmm. Are you the one who played dice with Lord Capon? Played and won, lad. Fine noble he may be, but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree <laughs> with you there. But look, yeah, here, yeah. you still got that piece we, uh, of jewelry you want from him? No, I don't. We went fashion souls yesterday. had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. Oh, great. Did you know where this fellow was heading? Somebody else has got the he necklace. He was waiting for someone here. But when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sassau River. That one before the charcoal burners camp. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sassau. Can you tell me anything else about him? Fine gent he was, well dressed, on horseback. Had quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interesting looking dice. You said they fell well hmm. for him. Interesting Aye, looking dice. No wonder. Fine dice they was, made special, all shiny and whatnot. Loaded dice, I'm quite sure. That's okay. all I need to know. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we, um, we decided to, uh, spruce our look up a little bit. It's like the stuff we had was really great in terms of its defense. Uh, but I thought it looked kind of haphazard and, and all over the place. So we decided to go and kind of give ourselves a spiffy new look. <laughs> uh, all right. So we need to find the guy and get the necklace back. So he's towards Sasa. Talk to the Sasa. No. No. Aha. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see. I was also yesterday working on clearing some of my fog of war that I've still got going. So why don't we take a nice little horseback ride and clear out some of this fog of war stuff that we got going on so we're going to blue a yeah no, no, can't go there. Oh, do i want to be on this side of the river or the other uh, I'm going completely the wrong direction. Sure yeah. Happen, but... Although I do want to. Let's just go 
go due north. Hopefully these are yeah. passable wood. Okay, cleared that, so now we can go do wet. Yeah. Cool oh boy. Deep fill. Easy there, Alberta. There's a crossing down there to the right. Yeah. Ooh. Good deep on the shoulder. I better not go in any further. I might drown. Hey, uh, yeah. Henry, you little wussy. Okay, cleared that. So let's go southwest. Yeah. I don't know why it bothers me, but uh, hello, Nigees. Thank you for the follow-up. Okay, looks like we cleared all that fog of war, so we yeah. can just go straight for our mark. Is there anything between us? Uh, yeah, we do have a bridge yeah. straight ahead. Yeah. Not a bridge. Uh, going good. Loving it. Love the game. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, doing some DLC quests right now. We uh, basically in the main storyline we had gotten to uh, we rebuilt Privoslavitz and um getting yeah. ready for that next set of stuff uh after that and i kind of paused on the main quest lines and then doing some side quests and stuff so we're doing uh sir hans's dlc quest right now uh okay i gotta wait to go. yeah. oh, boy. Mm. oh okay Somehow made it over despite missing. He, he, yes, the amorous, uh huh, the DLC one. Yeah. We're hunting down the necklace uh, so he can give to his new heartthrob. The butcher's daughter. Really? Hard in terms of difficulty or yeah. hard because it got a little wonky? Yeah. Hmm. It's like some clothes or something over on this rock.
Oh yeah, yeah, it is gorgeous. Hmm. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I definitely did not do that. I um one of the first things I did, because I, I had I had played the game originally back when it was first released, but it was just so buggy that I couldn't yeah. I couldn't take it and I put it down and then uh, I saw Lobos Jr. playing it uh, recently yeah. and he was like yeah it seems like they fixed a lot of the bugs and everything so uh, I figured I'd give yeah. it another shot oh boar Do we, didn't we need some boar meat for something uh uh-huh, we sure did. Uh, where'd you go, boy? There, oh, multiple. Probably overweight now. Uh, and we need to remember to go turn this in before it goes bad. All right, back to the bridge. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, anyways, I had seen, I, I had a little bit of awareness about the early game, and then I'd seen a little bit of uh, Lobos Jr.'s, didn't mean to do that, playthrough, and... Um, so one of the first things I did was went after, thanks, but one of the first things I did was I went after the treasure map stuff um, that came with the the full package, the DLC stuff and all of that. Uh, is there a camp right hmm? Yeah, there's a freaking camp right here. Um, so yeah, I went and got that good armor and that I think helped me a ton. Uh, just having some high level armor to start with. Um, and... Uh, and also knowing to go and, uh oh, uh oh. Who are you? Are you after something? I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um,. I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a, um, a, a private matter. <laughs> uh, Those are weighty names in these woman. parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Domkey, in the service of... Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you, that is, I'd like to ask you for your help. Mm. I'm listening. Oh, listen. Tell me what you know. I will. And I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is, this is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here, <laughs> Thanks. I found him like this. <sighs> God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. When I finally pulled myself together, I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands uh, that Alphonse was supposed what? to negotiate what? with. 
Nah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? There's you can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits' camp and find that fucking murderer. And when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Aye. He moved in altogether I mean... different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. Ah, that's a bummer. So, something doesn't quite smell right here. He wasn't here when the guy got killed, but yet he's seemingly giving us details about how he died. Um, hmm. Now, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? After all, I know nothing about this Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me, and I'm not on the best of terms. Mm. They'd most likely kill me on sight. Then the two of us would be dead, and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant, a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. And how am I supposed to recognize the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but you might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Silver is silver, mm. though. I won't recognize anything. Now that I think Didn't about he have something it. unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Yeah, his dice. fancy dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. It was his pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright and shiny. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. What can you tell me about Alphonse? So they don't catch me out if they start asking questions. Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last few years. He advised people. I'm well, he too. lived in Prague. He helped them to deal with problems. Yeah, problems. I can imagine. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. But that was ages ago. Hmm... What do you know about the brigands in that camp? Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bilovitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau custodian would lend you a few men. <laughs> There's nothing I'd like to see more <laughs> than the lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with their heart. Uh, I stream uh, every Friday, every Saturday and Sunday, and then kind of random days through the week um, when my wife is working. Like, so my wife's working today. She works a 12-hour shift, gets off at 7 o'clock my time. So I stream any days that she works during the week. I stream every morning on Saturday and Sunday, and she works every other weekend. So weekends she works, I do extended streams on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, what was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to look, Henry. You'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll feel be a like bit this guy is... since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. 
True. <laughs> well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishaw, especially holding up merchant's wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer yeah. a reward of up to 12,000 crosses. Saturday and Sunday mornings um, in pilgrims. West Coast time, West Coast so America, for someone so uh, Pacific no, time. Neither pilgrims right nor around Benishaw. 8 o'clock. Nor Vlashing, for that matter. It's a bit cool. complicated. Damn Damn politics. politics. I feel like this guy is getting us to do some dirty work for him. Um, I'm okay with that. My word. The whole thing sounds like quite a... So are you going to help me? Need that fucking necklace, so I guess I will. Hmm, I don't believe you. You killed him yourself. Surely this guy doesn't have the necklace on him. No, oh, <laughs> I'm not having any under any problem understanding you, man. Speak better uh, English than I'm sure I would speak of your tongue. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm not going to go that way. We'll I'll go this you. way. I'll have to go there to look for the necklace anyway, and this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life on my account. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. I mean, uh... There's something else I'd like to ask. Uh, I've no more questions. I don't know. I'm conflicted about this guy because he does... When he was talking about the guy being dead... He Looks did. Looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had money, jewelry, even his boots. He did seem emotional when he was talking about hey. his buddy. Is that a saddle? What the hell is that? A saddle. Yeah, it is a saddle. Um. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had? Or something in particular. Hmm. Any more clues, Doggo? What are you doing? You need some food, bud. Look what you're. <coughs> Did I? Can I drop it? I didn't drop it. Look, you're. There we go. Uh, all right. So where are we? Why do I still have the search? We're not examine. I still need to examine the scene of the crime. someone was trying to get rid of something here scorched map okay all right come on Albarak. Right. that uh this uh, other side of the stream They saw anything. Yeah. Or heard anything. Okay, mm talk to him. Can't talk to him. Come 
are doing for food. Hello, anybody in here? Oh, I've got a chest in here. And you're gonna come in and keep an eye on me, aren't you? What? No water to wash with? Okay, well, I guess uh, no clues to be gathered here. Oh, wait. What would happen if I sick the dog on <laughs> these guys? Uh, okay, so we're going back. I just tumbled all the way down the hill. <laughs> Oops. Uh, uh, I'll break. Okay. Uh, let's try a different approach, I guess. All right, man. Sleep well. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. search area. It's starting to get a little dark. Thanks so much, man. Have a good one. That's right, we're not attacking. We're trying to... I'm not dressed right. Uh... uh shit. I did... Um, and I didn't save. What the heck? What the going on here? If it's too late to change my clothes. Oh, okay. I didn't walk in. Uh, I need to look more like a a, a fancy pants. Um, got my other stuff. Just grab that and that. Maybe that. I'm gonna grab. I didn't need two of those. Uh, didn't I have oh I'm wearing some boots already bring those over to bring the ring am I wearing the ring uh, I am wearing a ring okay uh, so let's go let's uh, take off all the this uh oh I did no leave the necklace uh no no but ooh. actually that didn't look half bad
Why does that call it a black pour point when it doesn't look at all black? Mm, no. Stick with that. <coughs> Didn't I have yeah, that and those? Where'd my hat go? Pulled a hat over, did I not? Oh, it's a green hat. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, probably shouldn't wear like a real fancy sword. Hopefully I don't get into a fight. Uh, all right, let's go with this. Uh, where's the front door? Would I be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bilevets? You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? All the way from Prague, eh? <laughs> Yeah, uh, that that is one option. Not at all, Goodman, uh, from Slani. Ah, well, that's quite a haul. How was your journey? As well as might be expected in these perilous times. Oh, aye, the roads ain't safe at all these days. There's all sorts of rabble waiting to rob unwary folk and even kill them. Indeed, indeed, I concur. One must be wary, <laughs> well, cautious, even. Indeed, indeed, traveling. I concur. Right then, but you'll have to wait a while. Sir Earhart is busy at the moment. No matter, I shall just, uh... Ah, but it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets and some old piece of jewelry. Uh, jewelry, you say? Uh, that's right. Just go and see old Blaha. The fellow sitting at that table there. He can read, write, and do sums as good as any scribe. And other things, too. He keeps things in shape here a bit. Thank you. I may well do that. Okie dokie, we're in. Ice ring here. Chuma. Okay, where's Braha? And it. When I need to speak to Braha, Berta, and it. Uh, let me double check my mission here. Take part in the dice turn. Okay. Can I have a word with you? What do you want? What's your story? I ain't, true enough. I'm a local. I don't go raiding with them. When they're here, I just look out for them, bring them supplies and that. And what do you do when they're not here? Whatever's needed. But being the go-between for them that set up the ambushes pays well, and you don't have to risk your neck for it. Can you tell me something about the ca This place? It's been here as long as I can remember. I used to come here as a youngster to play with my mates. Anyway, one time I had to lie low for a bit, so I came here and ran into these gentlemen, who pay good coin when you bring them some wine and a bit of grub. Why did you have to disappear? Ah, uh, nothing terrible. Just that I was courting this one girl, only her old man and her brothers didn't take to me. Besides which, she was promised to some rich merchant. Once they had her married off, they forgot about me, though. Hmm. I'll leave you to it. So, what do I talk to to join the damn... I'm so hungry, I oh, fucking sick head. Can I ask you something? You ask something away. Today. Anything. You're my daughter. I am. Why? Just curious. This is quite an interesting retreat you men have here. You could put it that way. I ain't been here long though. I helped them out of a tight spot and they took me with them. Is that right? How did that happen? Well, I was lying in wait for this wagoner, see? Because he'd been mouthing off about me, so I figured 
I'd take all he had for compensation. Anyway, I'm hiding there in the bushes, and I hear this wagon coming, so I jumped out to ambush him. Only it wasn't that wagoner, but some merchant. Fuck as soon as he saw me with my weapon drawn, he started screaming bloody murder. And next thing, his armed escort comes charging up, and I was the one ambushed. Mm -hmm. The injustice of it. Mm, vexing indeed. This guy tried to rob. Aye. Anyway, uh, they caught me and took me with them. They figured I was Sir Earhart's spy, and they wanted me to lead them to him. Of course, I told them I didn't know what the fuck they were on about. So, while they were threatening to break me on the wheel, string me up and what have you, along comes the Baron with his merry band, and they lay into the soldiers and send them running for the hills. And ever since then, I've been riding with them. That is quite an entertaining anecdote. Ain't it just? If it hadn't been for me, the fellows would have run straight into a trap and it'd all be up with them. So, it's on account of me, they're still alive. Sounds like that encounter that we had with the guy that was guarding... There was that quest where we ran into the, the wagon that had been attacked and then we kind of paired up with the other guy. Kind of, It sounds almost like that deal. Hmm... That's all. all right. So, where's... Where is the guy I need to talk to about Berta? I don't think this is the guy. Uh... Maybe the... Isn't there uh sorry. ask me to find out who murdered Means a necklace that ended up in the hand of the brigands in the pot for the dice tournament. All I have to do is throw some dice, beat everyone and win the pot. What could be easier? Uh Oh, there's Blaha. I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. Aye, he's got his hands full at the moment. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? I'm Blaha, Sir Earhart's servant. I take care of things here a bit. Including dice? It has come to my attention that there are interesting things being wagered. True enough, we've got a fine pair of plate gauntlets, two necklaces, one of them's a lovely piece, a good sharp sword, and some other things, I don't remember what. The custom here is if you want to play, you've got to wager something to join. What a shitty day. I need a good scrap to cheer me up. Far be it from me to disrespect established custom. Ooh, a thousand? Fine. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thanks. You want to play right away, or...? Why wait? I'll play now. No beating around the bush. That's the way. You'll play against right. Noggin now. He's not <laughs> it the is brightest, pretty funny. And he ain't a good loser. Right. Need to find some more lucky dice. Lucky playing die. I've got two of them. Odd die. I don't know what the strip so, die does, but. Do here? <clears throat> Oof, playing to six, six thousand. Well, that's a good start. Uh, we'll just go with that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see a bunch of fives. Holy fives! What is that? That's a thousand, two thousand? Yeah. Are you gonna keep those twos there, buddy? What's, wait, what? Is that like a wild card dice? Oh, fucking sick head. 
I need you to crap out. No. Three ones again. Fucking weather, fucking tanks, fucking camp. I've had enough of this. Fucking weather, fucking camp. the right play. Mm. Now you're going to quit? Mm. Oh, oh, sixes. All right, we're rolling pretty good. Seven hundred. Barring some crazy run by this guy. Fuck. As I was saying. You're going to call it, okay? Come on, 700. Uh, I don't see 700. You're a fucking cheat. <laughs> Sir, I challenge you to a duel. Really? I won't Bring take it. any accusations from you. I accept. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not wearing he's wearing armor. Oh no. Uh can I put armor on? Uh screw it. I'll just fight you with you. no armor. Ah! Quitting. He's bleeding. He's done. <laughs> Pay up, and I'll let you go. So be it. 192 Groschen. Nice. All right. That didn't take long. No, nope. one good whack to the skull. Uh, all right, where's the dice? Fucking do I play again? I'll drink no more today. Uh, do I talk to you to play again? Uh, uh, I want to play dice. They fell your way last time, and no mistake. You'll play Berta. Okay. He's a man, but they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. <laughs> Surely we're going to run into somebody that's got a bunch of loaded dice here. Not as good of a start. Oh, yeah, it is as good of a start. Uh, let's chance it. One time. One time. Oh. All right, I'm not going to press my look at that. Oh, he's going for it. Bust? Oh, no. Can't drink no more today. Mm. 
One, one, three, Fucking four. Sick head. I'll drink no more today. Two, three, four, five. Go, oh boy. No, oh, there's a five. Come on now. Three, one. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I'm almost Go. sober again. There's five. Uh, no guts, no glory, right? Sure Come on, one or five. Fuck. Five. Camp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. I'm so hungry, I can eat my boots. Wish my luck quite a bit that roll. Oh, wow, hard bus. Camp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. Uh, five. Not looking so hot here the last couple rolls. Come on, give me some. Three of some. game this time. Two, three, four, five, five. Four, four, five, five. Oh. Oh, three fives. Oh, four fives. I just want to eat and sleep. And fork. Sixes. Oh my goodness. Alright, this guy's on a roll. Oh, we what stopped? Uh, oh, four yeah. or five again. I'm gonna get soaked. I just <laughs> want to see this anyway. Fuck. So hungry, I could eat my boots. <laughs> oh, good. Three. Oh, oh, ones, ones, ones. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna get sucked. What else is there to do here? Filth, stink everywhere. Should have stayed home. The two ones? That's an odd choice. Crap. No, he got a five. Go ahead, push your luck. Bust! Six. Nice. Um, three fives. Come on, baby. Oh, crapped out. Second opponent. Opponent. Okay. Uh, get up. What's that? Hey! Hey! Who's there? 
I want to play dice. They fell your way last time. You'll play against Maladata. He's a bit... Well... You can you'll see this. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Objective start a parley with Sir Earhart. <laughs> Fucking weather, fucking oh, hello. tents, fucking camp. Hello. Enough of the shit. Be good to me. Oh, hello. What a shitty day. I need a good scrap to cheer me up. That's a good first roll. I hit the wrong button! I hit the wrong button! Oh. Wait a minute. This is the guy with the fancy dice. Shit. I'm thinking I might have fucked up by making that mistake. Good grief. How much did I have? I had like two a 2,000 point roll almost. That's gonna come so back to bite me. No. Hold. Fucking sick, man. Can't drink no more today. Oh, fucking sick, man. Can't drink no more today. I want to rob him. Fucking poor. The guy said that uh, the guy that got killed's dice were two colors, though, didn't he? Alright, chance to catch up here. Come on now. Three fives. I just want to eat and sleep. Uh, I better take what I can get. This guy's running pretty hot. Killing, fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking hard, and freezing. Take the women, burn the village, drink an eye, a legs and pillage. Burning, wrecking, making strike, cause we pick ears of robbers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Red and gold. And he's got a dice with the... I guess that symbol takes the place of the number that's not on the die or something? So tired. Alright, we need a big roll. Need a big roll. That's not bad, but we're gonna have to press our luck. Catch this guy. Fifty gets me to within four hundred of him. Three fifty of him. I just want to eat and sleep and fuck. Come on, crap out one time for me. Filth and stink everywhere. Should have stayed home. I'm so hungry, I can eat my boots. I can't read his dice. Nice. Oh, there's one. Four, four ones. Hello. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, yeah, and he, I don't know if that's a wild card or Eesh. I've got a pick. tempted to keep the twos and the five and roll that one dice again but that's I don't that is one of my special die I'm gonna try it I just want to eat 
Come on. One or five. One or five. Five. Come on, big roll. The three ones. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, keep them. Oh! A hundred away. You better not roll a 2,000 roll here, dude. Oh, he stopped. Okay, well, good game. GG. Oh, wow. GG by a bunch. So, hmm. He was saying that that guy was like hey, strange or something, but. What's that? Filth and stink everywhere. I want to play dice. Home. They fell your way last time. Then there's Pekuna. He's a local fellow who brings stuff for us. He put up a nice necklace as his wager. Hmm. He put up the necklace. <sighs> so Three ones and a five. Two fives. <sighs> I'm so tired. Killing, fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking mm -hmm. whores, and boozing. Take oh, the hello. women, burn the Four village, one. drink, annihilate, and pillage. Burning, wrecking, making strife. How sweet it is, a robber's life. <sighs> oh, so tired. Thing in a robber shanty. <laughs> So well, this guy is I not. Why does he have a total of zero? Didn't he stop last time? I guess not. Uh, three ones again. No, two ones. I'll take them off the first idiot that crosses our path. With good luck, order me a beggar monk with no shoes at all. Don't even say that. Three fives. Seriously, I'd seen to go barefoot than have to fight in these turd skins. All right. I need to come back hard. Uh, what? Oh, we got a straight. Okay. Dude. Oh, there's my thousand. Should have stayed home. That does it. Mm -hmm. Six thousand on the money. I can quit any time. <laughs> hey, who's there? I just want to eat and sleep. How did I do? Have I won? Well now, Sir Alphonse, you took them all by storm. 
Here's the key to the prize. Yeah. Thank you kindly. Front keys. Okay. Uh, fucking lies. Fucking huh? please. Like hey, it's why, why, do, why do I have my sword out? What's that? I'll never get used to this. Uh, huh? My granddad's put my... a drown bathing in a pond. I'm not taking the risk. I only wash when it's raining. Yeah, so Is it this A? Uh, what is pick up your winnings from the dice tournament? Uh, um, put this way. Can't see a bloody thing. Uh, all right, it's down here. I feel like I'm being lured somewhere. Alright, this is not where the trunk is. Uh, this is, this must be the back door into Cam. Hey, doggo. Bloody rag. Where the fuck is this chest at? Send me on a wild goose chase? Is that the deal? Uh, oh, there we go. There it is. Uh, okay. So, am, am I just gonna leave? Is that it? Uh, wait, how the hell did I get in here? Um, uh, here? Bring the necklace to Cape on, but don't I need to, I need don't I need to meet with this guy that, that killed the guy, or do I just tell this guy to fuck off and Find out where the current went. No. Okay. Ask me to find out who murdered his friend and bring the information back to him. I need to keep my eyes. Well, the scrubby guy is the one that gave the necklace in for the tournament. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, this guy. N no. Was that? It wasn't Pachuno, was it? That's the guy who played second to last. What am I doing here? What are you doing here, Cam Point? Um. Killing, fighting, never losing, Robin. And it, I guess that was him. Making strife, how sweet it is, a robber's wife. Pachuna. This is the guy that I talked to, right? Another question. What do you want? I'll Never lead mind. you to it. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna. Use Pachuna? Alright, horse. Horse. There you go. Alright, we need to travel back. Here.
I mean, that seemed yeah. a little too easy. Uh-uh. Yeah, I just took damage there. Or was that damage from the fight? Let's take a... Uh, Marigold. And maybe... Save your schnapps. Yeah! Yo. What do we got here? Bandit camp? Uh, let's throw our armor back on. Shit, I don't remember what I was wearing. Uh, let's put that to horse. I wasn't wearing that. I wasn't wearing that. I was wearing that. Maybe that? Not that or that. Uh, no, no. My spurs. Gold spurs. Yes. Those, I think. That, I was wearing that claw. That curia. Uh, that look right. Yeah, just nothing in the outer slot. Okay. Uh, so put that to horse. What is that stuff? Bow. Oh no, this is... This isn't a bandit camp. This, this is charcoal burner. We have a road. That's good. Right, where exactly am I? Almost to the bridge. Uh, he's taken off. We. He's sleeping in the bed his buddy got murdered in. What? Seriously? I am not gonna fucking sleep here. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. Something seemed too easy about all of that, based on the way the other guy was talking.
Dude, wake up! <laughs> sawed off. You don't need a sawed off, I'll kill your ass. <laughs> yeah, sleepy boy. Hello. I have good news for you, Sir Anselm. I know who killed your friend. Who was it? It was Pekuna, a local fellow who wanders the area getting supplies for the bandits. How did you find out? Check mark. Uh... From the necklace. All right. I'll take care of it from here. And I owe you for helping me. All right, hey, I guess the guy Henry, was legit. Take this. I'm sorry I don't have more on me. But if you're ever in Prague, come and look me up, and I'll see you're well taken care of. It's been well, a pleasure, Sir Prague Anselm. isn't quite on Godspeed. our map of our world, so... A nobleman's hat. Gee, thanks. Uh, he's wearing... What? He's wearing a helmet now. He gonna go find the guy and kill him, I guess. All right. Well, whatever. That's on you, dude. Um, back to Sir Hans, I guess, huh? Uh, what? What? Wait, what? Why don't I have? I got my hands on Sir. Now I need to get back to him. The sooner I hand it over, the better. The damn thing must be cursed. Eesh. I don't like the sound of that. Um, but we're going to travel back to... This guy going to end up jumping us? It, this, this all feels too easy. gonna get there and he tells us it's not the right necklace hmm. okay all right but where is sir hands at why is he not on my map We found him at the castle, right? At um, Erkstein? Uh, Erkstein? Yeah. Let's uh let's take a little cat nap, save our game, wash it a little bit. Awfully long load time for splashing some water in my face. Hello? So yeah, bummer news, uh, my computer has been delayed. It was supposed to be delivered today, but the tracker says the delivery date will be provided as soon as possible. On the way, there's a delay. So that was a bummer. Um, 
All right, uh, for Hans, are you? Wasn't he right here? Mm. Oh, private air. Excuse me, have you seen so? No, Hans is in here, right? He wouldn't be in there. There he is. Good day. The Lord be praised. I've got that necklace. Excellent news. I'm not going to ask you how you did it. Here's a reward for you. Now you can carry on with your next task. I want you to sneak the jewelry okay. into Carolina's trunk along with this letter. Can't I just hand them to her? You cannot. Under no circumstances must she find out who sent them. Otherwise the whole secret admirer ploy is fucked. Oh, and by the way, Henry, watch out for the butcher. He keeps yeah, a very close eye on his daughter, and if he catches you sniffing around, well... May all the saints preserve you. Once you've delivered the things, wait a day, and then come back and see me. Good luck, then. Okay. That was some weird lighting going on there. Where is Carolina's chest? The butcher's over here. How do I know what chest is hers? Why am I not getting prompts? No. Uh, I need word. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's awfully rainy lately. It must be in the uh, fall or winter season. Hmm. Well, I mean, so. Uh -oh. Why is that a private area? Uh, are you shop guard? Why is your front door not open? It's like 2:30. Is someone there? Must have imagined it. Am I gonna have to come back here at night? Uh. All right, do I have anything to sell? Yeah, I had had a, I did get a couple of items from that box. That goes, okay, yeah, so this needs to go. All right, let's see what else I've got that I can sell. Uh, I guess I'll sell one of these necklaces. Damn it, the boar meat. Uh, I wonder if Alex will take this. Where, Where's Alex? That damn quest has been hanging around for forever. Uh, beggar speaks. Okay, let's uh, undo that one. No, not that one. That one. Where's Alex? What? Can Alex some... Well, let's just see if, it, if he'll take the meat and then I'll get the Lepitopia. Or, or whatever it's called. Yeah. We're going to A, right? Bring Alex some. Huh? 
Him? Yeah. And load your text for today. Uh, what? Oh, because it's on the horse. I guess he won't take spoiled meat. Of course not. Son of a... Alright. Um, drop that then, I guess. Dog, don't eat it. <clears throat> well, that's a pisser. Alright. Uh, let's, um, yeah. guess we'll just wait until night time. Sorry, lady. There's Hans. So, Hans, uh, everybody's textures are not loading correctly. Silly meat. <laughs> All right, uh, let's wait until the witching hour, I guess. Uh, shit. A guard's gonna come up and bitch at me for not having a torch. What's going on? U.S. men's teams playing? World Cup qualifier against Mexico. Probably gonna get our ass kicked. Whoops, sorry about that. <clears throat> what? I missed a tourney. Yeah, I don't care about the tourney anymore. We got the sword. Alright, uh, let's. Um... I... Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I got my torch. Chill out. Hmm, there's a side door over there, which is going to be easier to get up and pick. Uh-oh, that guy see me? And activate my perk thing. Where's my crouching chameleon? Shit, guards coming. Mother, Put that weapon away, damn it. Weapon? I'm not. What? Oh. You should Good day, Henry. Away. It's not allowed here. Yeah, dude. Rock, you need to move along. <laughs> How are you? How does life in Rock? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in, but then they just left us here. Go to, to Privoslavets, dude. We got plenty of room. God be with you, dude. Why are you standing right there? I hooked you up with a job, and you're ratting me out. Now that guard's gonna stand there. Can I get around the back? I'm overloaded. Why am I overloaded? Uh, put those to horse. That to horse. That to horse. There we go. Is there, a, is there a side way to get in here?
All right, I think I need to, um, there we go, that time it activated. Take a uh, Nighthawk. Ah, fucking guard. Fucking guard. Light a torch, I will catch all see you. Alright, 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 alright. Mm -hmm. La la la. It seems the back way is no better than the front way. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Quick, 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 quick. I'll go. Shut up. Let's get me to the rest of the house. Uh oh. This is not her chest, I don't believe. Oh, is that her? I could put on some less clunky clanky armor. Uh Still twelve. Why? Why twelve? There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. We out. Uh, I came in this door, yeah. Overloaded. Hey! Uh, yeah, 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 no yeah, business no, no. here. Cl sorry, sorry. Here. Sorry, sorry. I'm out. Okay, yeah. let's go sleep. Okay, um, that went easier than expected as well. Okay, let's go see Hans. Let's get dressed again. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna put my stuff back on. Put that on. Not that. Oh. Whoop, wait, I've got two set of melanine. Okay. Oh wait, silver neck chain? No, I want that necklace. I can go. Hmm. 
I'm looking kind of grubby. Do I need repairs? I don't know. Am I just dirty? Mm. Ooh, sharp as a knife. Four. What is that? On maintenance. I should go read that. I should read all of those. Uh, Taylor. Don't have anything. My shoe. Oh, I'm wearing shoes now. I don't have a cobbler's kit. All right, but I think there's a trough out here. Hopefully that'll uh, spruce us up. There we go. That looks better. Stop! I need to search you. Uh. Uh. I don't do it. I don't. Is this all because I got caught sneaking around? I think I'm clean. Yeah, I'm clean. Okay. Uh. Well? What's going on? Such are my orders. Do I look like someone you need to search? I meant no offense. Right. Sorry. Go right ahead. Just in case. <laughs> I didn't see anything that looked stolen, but... Uh, for Hans, oh, it's eight in the morning. He's not up yet. <laughs> Let's wait till ten. <sighs> Hour and a half already? Son of a... I wonder if wifey's gonna work tomorrow or not. Wifey picked up today. And if she works today and tomorrow, which she had tried to pick up, she's going to do like six, seven days in a row. I I don't understand why she does that. Working 12-hour shifts, seven days in a row? Hell no. Wouldn't catch me doing that shit. All right, Hans. You need to wake up, dude. Come on. Um, it's... Freaking noon, almost. Alright, surely you're awake now. No. What the... Uh... What the fuck, dude? Oh, there's Radzik. You got anything to say to me, Radzik? God hey, be with you, lad. Me. I'd like to ask something about this Sir Hagen. What happened? That's a lot. Uh, we already did all this. Sir Radzig, I believe you know Sir Wolflin of Camberg. I do. We once had a rather amusing encounter. Such a shame he's turned to robbing and pillaging. How did the mission go, anyway? An amusing encounter? It happened before we went to Poland. I hired Wolflin as a mercenary to help deal with the royal matter. We were laying siege to Herstein Castle because the Lord there had been collecting tolls on the Royal Highway. It was winter and the mountain passes were knee deep in snow. There was no way to get reinforcements or supplies to us. So we were in a bit of a fix. 
There was a strong garrison at the castle, and they had more food than we. By chance, the lady of the castle, Ophelia, arrived and wanted to get inside. Her carriage got stuck in a snowdrift, and being chivalrous knights, we rescued her. And then Wolfling got the idea we would hold Lady Ophelia hostage in exchange for Lord Herstein's surrender along with his men. We even promised him we would let her go inside first. But they could easily have broken their promise once the lady was inside and refused to surrender, couldn't they? Of course. We expected it. And we had something up our sleeve. It was snowing heavily and the visibility was low. So they didn't notice it wasn't Lady Ophelia in the carriage, but Wolflin in disguise. As soon as the <laughs> gate closed behind the carriage, Lord Herstein came and gloated at us from the battlements. Only in the meantime, Wolflin killed the whole escort and opened a side gate in the walls, where we were waiting. After that, it was all over in minutes. So tell me, what happened with him? We parleyed with them and they pulled out. How did Bernard feel about that? I think he was ready to bite Wolflin's head off. He wasn't happy about it. But I told him Sir Hanish wanted the matter solved without bloodshed if possible. I'm glad you did. Wolflin asked me to give you his regards. And he said if you're going to march against Sigismund, you should let him know. <laughs> My God. It's a fine state of affairs when even outlaws want to march under my banner. Perhaps it's not <laughs> such a bad thing, my lord. It's good to know he's still loyal to you after all these years. You're probably right. I'll be going. By the way, have you seen... Take care now. Have you seen Hans? <laughs> um... But uh, he's not like on my map somewhere else, is he? We did see him riding his horse. Bring Alex some stuff. Uh, let's undo that quest. Yeah, go see Hans. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, Henry! Well, there glad you, you came. Are. The... Um, yeah, glad. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I delivered the things as you asked. I already know. My spies told me everything. She was wearing the necklace this morning, as I asked in the letter. So you'll go to the <laughs> rendezvous with her? Certainly not. I'm not going to pounce on her like a bull in rutting season. Her feelings must be allowed to mature gradually. Meanwhile, you'll get a potion for me. I thought you didn't believe in witches' brews. This is no witch's brew. It's an absolutely tried and tested elixir called Musk of Infinite You Amor. shut up, Nightbot. There's a fellow in Sassau who sells it and he guarantees its success. Okay. Musk of Infinite Allure? <laughs> Sounds irresistible. All right, I'll try and get it for you. I'm sure I can rely on you. Here's some coin for your cost. Take care. Where am I going to find the recipe for this? Musk of Infinite Allure. Ah, okay, up in Modechko. Yeah, alright, let's jump on Albarak. Bands my butt. <laughs> uh, wait, what am I doing? I want to go here. Here. So far, this quest is not near as entertaining as the first couple of uh, Sir Han's quests. It's not bad, but just doesn't have the flair that the other two had. Get a little hangry. Uh, all right. Uh, hey. Oh, from this guy? Really? Well, well, who have we here? Ah, oh, the prodigal son returns. Now it I kicks knew back you'd in? Come back to me one day. Let me guess. You saw it in a dream. I knew you were going to say that. But I had a divine <laughs> revelation. 
that next time I won't be around to pull you out of the shit. <laughs> oh, well done. Well, well said, I, Henry. I am sorry. Uh, but these things are sent to try our fortitude in the face of adversity. <laughs> I'd like to try this guy your is fortitude. such a freaking... What's the word for it? Um... Uh... Not a shyster, but, uh, like, a. it'll come to me. I've heard you know of some irresistibility potion or whatever it is. Oh, naturally. Musk of infinite allure. An age-old recipe, maybe even older. Tested by Moses himself. Moses? <laughs> How do you think he managed to get his people to follow him through the desert for 40 years? It's extremely potent. Yeah, so it would seem. How much do you want for it? Who do you take me for? The wisdom of the ancients isn't something that's bought and sold in the marketplace. Did Jesus charge for his miracles? But since you ask... Snake oil salesman. That's the, the phrase I was trying to think of. Yeah. Yeah, didn't uh, didn't that guy that stopped by say that he worked on a lot of Hans's stuff? Or no, he worked on he worked on Teresa's stuff, right? Uh, wait, what? Uh, okay, two grand. Uh. Pretty much, yeah. In in a roundabout way, that's that's pretty much what he said. That's All right, much. fine. Really? Uh, all right, double then. N no. What? what? No. Oh, uh, why do I even bother? If you like, I can mix the elixir for you in exchange for a small favor. Oh, not again. <laughs> now, is that any tone to use with your master? You are for not shame. my master. Bitch. Apologies, master. I was carried away by my thirst for knowledge. I understand your impatience, but the way to wisdom is narrow and arduous. And leads out the window. <laughs> what do you want help with? So what is it you want from me? Oh, my dear apprentice, everything has gone to the devil. I'm living from hand to mouth, sleeping on straw. And the local peasants won't buy from me. They say they you're a don't fucking trust me, as if I were some kind Go of figure. charlatan. Can you believe it? Does this look to you like the face of a swindler? I'm an mm -hmm. honest trader in sacred goods, whose only concern is the welfare of troubled souls. Mm-hmm. And any time now, the slanderous gossip will spread here from Sasau. I should leave before things get worse. But I can't go anywhere until I've made a bit of coin. So what's needed is to give the locals a bit of encouragement to open their hearts and purses. I'm not going to go around beating people for you. What do you take me for? I, I wouldn't hurt a fly. Violence is for the dull-witted. We must gently demonstrate to them the necessity of buying my remedies. For example, to ward off a revenant. Revenant? What revenant? Well, the dead return from the grave. A corpse that the soul is unable to depart from which wanders among the living, filled with rage at its wretched fate. Yeah, I saw something like that once, but it was just some drunk going home from the tavern after losing <laughs> all his money at dice. Don't make light of such things. Now tell me, do you know how to deal with the revenant? <laughs> Set fire to it and piss on it? Uh, I don't know. Garlic and a crucifix should be enough, right? Those are things everyone should have to repel malign spirits and other evils. You are my trained apprentice, but the ignorant villager is entirely at a loss how to deal with such dark forces. It is our sacred duty to prepare them for such threats. And how do you propose to do that? Well, they're all doubting Thomases. They need proof. 
we wants don't need me a to grave. dress up and an empty grave pretend to be use. an undead. There's one along the way to Sasau, but it's got one minor shortcoming. What's that? Well, it's not uh, entirely empty. Not entirely? What does that mean? You have to dig it up first. Why this particular grave? The locals don't like to talk about it, so... It's surely got some sinister past behind it, and... In places like that, revenants sprout up like mushrooms after rain. Well, if that's how it is, we could open old wounds. That could easily set people against us. Again. Then it would be best if no one could connect us to it, wouldn't it? I'll have nothing to do with it. Give the job to someone with no human decency. But Oops. you're my one and only apprentice. Shit. Good health to you. About that recipe? Uh, yes, uh, you want to buy... If I say four, he's going to say six. What's this about the red... I knew you wouldn't have been... I'll need a spade then. Yes, uh, dig it up and remove the remains, leave... And what am I to do with the remains? Keep them. Human remains are always handy to have around. Oh, great. And how do we spread the word of this revenant? There's a gossip in every village. Here too, a woman who'll spread news quicker than a dozen messengers on the fastest steeds. And what am I to tell this? All you have to do is casually mention the empty grave, and before evening, I'll wager the whole village will know about it. Where does this woman live? The last house on the left, on the road to Sasau. She was the first person I met here, and by the time I reached the village green, I already had a mob looking suspiciously at me. The rumor-mongering fishwife. And that's all? Not quite. You should ask her who was buried there. So we've got a story to work with. So... Dig up the grave, talk to the gossip. And the remains. Uh, don't forget to remove them. Otherwise, no one will believe in the Revenant. I might have known any task for Capon would turn into some insane escapade. Grave robbing. <laughs> Jesus. Farewell. Okay. Where's the... A different mission? dog. <laughs> I, I thought it was a freaking... Oh, boy. Crash? Yeah. No! Where did it save last? Oh. Well, uh, we may have to... I was going to try to round this out, but I think we're probably going to have to call this a quitting point. Um, we'll get back in and see where how far back we're set. It slept after I get, got the necklace. I'm thinking that's where we're at. I think I have to go talk to Cape on. That's a bummer. Unless it saved after I told him that she had the neck. I didn't see if it saved.
I, that's about the only real glitch or problem that we've run into, though, is is crashing, random crashing. And it hasn't happened that often, but... It's like two crashes in the last three episodes, I think. Welp. Yeah, the loss in progress is a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not like I... If I'm where I think we are... Oh! Oh! Okay. Uh... Where are we at? Get the mug. Okay. My respects to you. Uh, About that recipe. Yes. Hmm. Did I just fucking do this? Yes, I need it right. I understand. Uh, I'm sure. Well, I won't be drinking it. Good All right. You. Did we get that and we can just say fuck it to the rest of his stuff now? Nah. Did I not get the Musk of Infinite Allure? Oh, I got the recipe. Okay. Alright, well... Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll call it closer, quits here uh, for now. Everybody on YouTube that's watching, thanks so much for hanging out. I uh, hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Um, we'll be back in the morning tomorrow for sure. Uh, whether it's a shorter stream or uh, an extended stream depends on whether Wife Poo actually has to work tomorrow. So we'll just kind of have to play that by ear. But uh, hope to see you all soon. Take care. We'll see you. Peace.